Concerning news from Buckingham Palace. King Charles with a cancer diagnosis. The palace did not specify specifically what type of cancer, other than to say that the king is already undergoing treatment. CBS's Ian Lee has the details now from London. Buckingham Palace is not revealing what kind of cancer King Charles has, but in a statement said the cancer is not related to the monarch's recent treatment for a benign prostate condition. The palace said during that treatment, a separate issue of concern was noted, and diagnostic tests revealed a form of cancer. The statement went on to say the 75-year-old king has started treatment, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public-facing duties. I don't know the exact details why they would say he will have no public facing. I think in most cases, it's so he can use all of his energy to fight this cancer. Cancer is a war, and the war can have a very good outcome, but it is a war. The palace says King Charles will continue with state business and official paperwork as usual. This is the latest in a string of health issues facing the royal family. Last month, Kate, the Princess of Wales, spent two weeks in the hospital following abdominal surgery for an undisclosed but non-cancerous condition. It comes at a time when there are fewer working royals, following Prince Andrew's scandal and Prince Harry's rift with the family. This is unprecedented in the 1,000-year history of the royal family to have so many important key figures of the royal family out of action at the same time. The palace says King Charles remains positive about his treatment and looks forward to returning to full public duty as soon as possible. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. Buckingham Palace did say that the king personally called both of his sons, Harry, the Duke, Duke of Sussex, and William, the Prince of Wales, to share his health news. CBS News also confirming Harry did speak with his father and will be willing to travel to the UK to see him in the coming days.